what what is the role of submission or service how long does one serve before they can be on their own that's a good one how long can somebody serve in a ministry before they can be on their own question is why do you want to be on your own everything is tied up now as a leader one of the things I do is I like to prepare people I tell them 10 years I give you 10 years for training and doing everything and I turn you loose the point is not whether you want to be on your own the point is whether you understand that you are all working towards the same goal when people say I want to be on my own sometimes I call it personal ambition I've never wanted to be on my own I've always wanted to do what God has called me to do with other people if I want to if I want to go on my own then I will never train anybody I will never want anyone to know the secrets of what I'm teaching but that's never been the point if you want to go on your own then tells me what is the motivation for wanting to go on your own so the point should never be I want to go on my own the point is I want to serve Jesus in whatever capacity and whatever you're serving there are room that will be made for you you're gonna flow in it you see you don't need to go on your own you see the Bible, the Bible says he sent them you know some people are sent and some people just got up and went <laughs> we say that sometimes you know so when I hear people uh, talk about um, I, I you know I, I want to go on my own I ask what's, what was the point number one I never stop anyone that wants to go on their own to go in fact I kick people out to go because they tell me they're not ready I tell them no you need help people need the help that you carry go ahead and help them you see the point is passing the baton as a leader most leaders hold on to a position because they have a small vision or they don't want anybody else to shine but a great leader is never threatened by the success of people around him in fact a great leader is excited about the success of people around him in fact when somebody is beginning to do more than you instead of you getting jealous of them no get excited and smart leaders say they take credit for the help and the way the person is doing it that is smart they encourage the person to go and said I expect you to do more that's called maturity most people don't understand that okay but I, I hope that you understand what I'm talking about